Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Box 12 here. And whenever last we met, I did a ring guide on which characters would benefit the most from the UT rings and the Exalted rings. Uh, which, by the way, the new Unbound rings just got released, Tier 6. Look pretty cool. Uh, but that's for another day. <clears throat> Today we're going to be talking about armors. Particularly the heavy armors. And mostly the Acrop and the Candy Coated. I'll probably talk about Res as well, but I do not have Resurrected Warrior's armor. So... I'll have to just go off of what I know about it, but you guys won't actually be able to see it, unfortunately, because it's soulbound, and I never do cemeteries. Okay, so let's take a look at the Acrop. Acropolis armor gives you plus 24 defense, which is good because these are melees, and melees are always going deep, and they need as much def as they can get, especially the Paladin. And it gives you a 4% fame bonus. Fame bonus doesn't really matter unless you plan on fame farming that character and dying on him. Okay, so down the line we have tier 1 armor all the way to tier 13 armor, which is the Acropolis. And the tier 1 armor gives you a 2 armor bonus, I believe, and Acropolis gives you 24, so that is 12 times more armor than tier 1. So as you go down the line, you're progressively getting more, so in this case, the bigger the number, the better. Now, the Candy Coated, on the other hand, gives you plus 30 death, whereas Acrop only gives you 24, so that is 6 more. However, you are losing 10 dexterity, so let's think about that. You're getting more death, but you're losing dexterity, which means you're not shooting as fast, which means you're not getting as much damage in. But think about the pros and cons. Would you rather take less damage or get more damage in? It all depends on your skill level. And let's take somebody like the Paladin. Right now, I have 59 death. Thanks to Pyrrha, plus Candy Coated, so that would give me 34. But if I took this off and put on a crop, I would only have 53. Which is kind of a big difference, because that's the lowest def of all of the melees. If I were to put Candy Coated on somebody like the Warrior, then he would have 69 def. That is 10 more than the Paladin, mostly because you get 10 def from your helm. Which I think is kind of... It's kind of a slap in the face for the Paladin, because you're not getting that extra death boost, which is a shame, because the Paladin is a fun class. But, once again, he can heal himself, so that's why they didn't, they didn't give him as much death. But now, let's think for a moment. The Warrior, if he's wearing Candy Coated, would have minus 10 dex. But remember, his ability allows him to gain dexterity. So it's as if nothing is even happening. Because, right off the bat, you're already getting more DPS in than the, both the Knight and the Paladin. If you buff, you're now just boom. If you can only buff yourself and not buff them, you're getting so much more damage than them. But, if you're having your dexterity reduced, you're getting slightly less damage in. But you're still out-damaging them. Um, plus, if you're soloing, then more death would obviously be better, you just wouldn't kill the boss as fast as you could if you were wearing a crop. But, that extra death would make you feel a little bit more secure. So if I was a warrior, I would probably put on the candy coated, just because now you're almost at knight status on dexterity. I think the average death for a knight was like 76 or something, if he didn't have like Pyra on or something. I can't remember, I haven't made a knight in a while. Um, but you're almost up at knight status, definitely. Um, and that is a great feeling on somebody who does so much damage, taking the death of a knight and the attack of a wizard and just mixing it together, you have the warrior. Kind of, if he's wearing candy coated. So, the only reason that I do not wear candy coated on my warrior is because I put it on my paladin. If I had a second one, I would probably put it on my warrior. Or maybe I would, like, experiment, swap him. But... Candy Coated is definitely, um, definitely a safer choice. But as for which one is better, <laughs> that is up to you to decide. Because like all UTs in this game, they have their ups and downs. Like D-Blade, you have two shots, but they do less damage. Seasword, you have more range, but it does less damage. G-Gen, you go berserk for longer and you get speedy, but you don't double your death. There is always a counterpart to an item. And whether or not it's good or bad, that is up for you to decide. But there is one thing that I can tell you for sure. <clears throat> and that is that the CC 
is not good on the knight. I mean, it's it's just not. The knight already has a base of 40 def, plus 24 from a crop, and plus, I believe, 12 from his shield, unless you have Augmer, which gives you 14. It is insane how much def he has that if you were to wear an extra def ring on a knight, it wouldn't even matter because in this game, there is only so much damage that you can reduce. Eventually, you get to a point where it doesn't make any difference, where you would rather have more HP or more attack or something other than def. That is the beauty of the knight, and I wish that I still had mine. We had some fun times, let me just say. <clears throat> but definitely on the pally and the warrior... Candy Coated is a great alternative. If you have one, put it on. If you have a crop, put it on. They're both equally good for different situations. And now, real quick, since I still have some time, I'm going to go over the Resurrected Warrior's Armor, or Res for short. Right off the bat, it gives you 17 def, so you're like, okay, it's basically a Hydra on a melee. What's the catch? Well, it gives you plus 150 MP and 5 Wisdom. Whoa. 150 MP and 5 Wisdom. Okay, let's think about that. Put that on somebody like the Paladin. You could just infinitely heal. But, with pets, Rez is not that good on the Pally, just because he gets his mana back so quickly, it almost doesn't even matter. But, put that on somebody like the Knight. Now you have all these stuns, because the stun, you know, it costs quite a bit, and it only lasts three seconds. So you kind of want to be able to spam that thing. If you just stun, 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 you have a lot of mana. This is where putting on a, an exalted def ring would actually come in handy. Because now, since you're getting less def from wearing a res rather than a crop, the exadef is now compensating for that lost def. So now it's almost as if you're not even wearing res you're wearing in a crop but you're getting more mp if that makes sense i don't know it's just a theory so yeah that's all i got for you guys uh hopefully you enjoyed this video uh leave a comment on what you want me to compare next and i would love to get around doing that but if you will excuse me i have some homework that i have to get done so as always check out the next episode when if i post it which will probably be soon all right see you